to the website. There we go. So in all actuality, I'm not going to tell your parents this, but your parents can, if they weren't doing anything and they knew which period you had science, they can log into my YouTube channel and go, let's see how this teacher teaches. Okay, but I'm not going to tell them that open house. I'll tell them they can watch it later. Okay, um, this is our website, and we'll talk about it in a minute, but I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about my teaching style. Okay, I have the philosophy that if you're not engaged, which means, uh, you know, like, you you're not going to learn. That means if you're bored, you're not going to learn. So I do my best not to be boring when I teach. Now, this is science, and it is a proven, proven scientific fact that nobody can make every piece of science fun. Okay? There are parts of science that are boring, will always be boring, and there's no way we can get around it from being boring. But I have to get that information out to you. I have to teach it to you. But I will do my best to make it as non-boring or as quick as possible so we can get through it. Okay? Does anybody here play sports? Sports? Yeah, a lot of us playing sports. Okay? What is the one thing we hate about sports? Conditioning. You have to run. You have to condition. You sweat. All that stuff. You hate conditioning. But without conditioning, you cannot be the best you can be on the court or on the field. Okay, so there are times when science will be boring. Consider that your conditioning. Okay, it's not fun. But when it comes time to take the test, you'll be like, oh, okay, I'm glad he taught me that because there's a question about it. Okay, so understand, not every single thing I'm going to do in this class is going to be fun. But I need your utmost attention with everything that we do. But it is also a proven scientific fact that I cannot keep your attention 100% of the time which is why we record. If you catch yourself daydreaming or just staring off into space and I end the lecture and you're like, oh no, I wasn't listening. It's recorded for you. You can go back and look it back up. Okay? So that's going to be there for you. Um, I do want you to understand that I only have one rule in this class. Okay? And it's respect. Okay? And that's because everything else falls under respect. So as long as we have respect for each other, Okay, then everything else falls into, it falls into its place. So there's no need to list all these things about rules because it's just about respect. I am giving you 100% of my attention the moment you walk in that door. When I shook each and every one of your hands, that's a contract from me to you saying I am going to do the best job at being my teacher, your teacher, that I can. I'm going to give it my all. I'm going I'm to give you my best. Okay? And by you walking in, you're promising me you're going to give me your best. Now understand, I don't look at grades as a performance of are they giving me their best. There could be someone who gets an A that is just breezing through the course and not giving me what they should. There are some people that work their butts off, do everything I ask, and try and try and try and can't get above a C. That's fine. If you work your butt off, and you're doing the best that you can, and you're coming in for help, and all you can get is a C, be proud of that C. There's no reason to be upset if you tried your best. Okay? Now, if you get a C, and, you're, and you're, you know you can get an A, that's when you have to start looking at what you're doing. Be like, I'm just not trying my best. Okay? So understand that. I'm not going to look at a grade and be like, you're not trying your best. I'm going to look at your performance. How are you doing in class? Are you truly trying your best? That's what I'm looking at. Okay, science isn't for everybody. I understand that. You don't have to like science, but you do have to respect it. By the time you leave my class, I'm not looking for you to be the next Nobel Prize winner in physics. Now, if down the line you do win a Nobel Prize, awesome. Give me a shout out when you pick up your prize. Okay? But if you leave my classroom saying, you know what, at the beginning of the year, I thought science was boring and stupid, and now you're like, eh, it's all right. I could, I could do this stuff. It's pretty cool. Then I did my job. That's all I want. I want you to get interested and stop wondering and start knowing. Like when you look at a tree, don't just look at it as if I cut it down. It's firewood. I want you to know that it came from a small little seed and has grown into this gigantic, massive object that is still alive and still growing and breathing. That's what photosynthesis is. It's its form of breathing. It is alive. I want you to know that when you feel a breeze, it's not because a cloud is blowing at you. 
It's because high pressure is moving up, low pressure is moving down, causing a forward motion in that air. That's what a breeze is. I want you to understand the world around you. That's why we need to respect science. Okay? I also want you to know that everybody starts at the same level in my classroom. I don't care if you got straight A's last year. I don't care if you got straight D's last year. I don't care if you were in detention every single day or SRC every single day. I don't care. It's a new year. It's a new year to make a fresh start. Okay, so everybody's at the exact same level in my book. I believe every single one of you. I will not think for a minute that you are lying to me until you start giving me reasons to think that you are lying to me. You tell me something, hey, where's your homework? Oh, I, I forgot it. Okay, fine, bring it tomorrow. I'm not going to get upset. Why get upset? You're probably already upset that you forgot it. Why should I make you more upset? Bring it tomorrow. No detention, no loss of points. Bring it tomorrow. It's not a problem. Okay? If I ask something else and, and, and you give me another excuse, fine. Just bring it next time. I'm not going to sit there and think you're lying. Don't, but don't give me reasons. The only person that can bring down the respect level from you is guess who? Yourself. You're the only person that can bring down that respect level. Okay, same thing with me. Okay? You shouldn't just give me the respect. Make sure that I earn your respect. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the truth every time. I'm going to try to be respectful to you all the time. And that's how I'm going to earn your respect. Just because I'm your teacher doesn't mean you have to automatically give me your 100% respect. I also want you to know I do not feel or find myself or think that I am better than you are. I am not a dictator. I'm not like, you do what I say, or you will face the consequences. No. I am your teacher. The only reason I am up here is because I know more about science than you are, than you do. That's the only reason. Okay? If, if somebody surfed, I don't know anything about surfing. They would come up and teach us about surfing, and I'd be sitting in the seat listening. The only reason I'm in front of you is because I know more about science than you, and I would like to share it with you and teach you a little bit. That's the only reason. I don't think I am better than you are. Okay? I don't like giving out detentions because I don't like punishing anybody. You're kids. You're, you're, you're not kids. Take that back. You're not kids, but you're not adults. I'm not going to treat you like little kids. Okay? If you're absent, I'm not going to be like, oh, were you sick? I'm so sorry. This is what you missed. No. I'm going to treat you like the students, the adult students that you are. Go to my website. I'll show you how to get it. Okay? Be self-sufficient in my class. But I will give you my all. Okay? Anything that you do, any rules that you obey in this classroom, I will do the same. When that phone rings during class, I will never answer it. Because the moment you walk in that door, you deserve all of my attention. And if I walk over there to talk to some teacher or somebody calling me, I'm not giving you all of my attention. I'm going to let that phone ring and ring and ring. And if it's super important, they can send somebody over and ask me a question. But I will never answer that phone. Same thing with you. If you guys have your phones, okay, just make sure they're on silent, okay, and then don't look at it and try to answer stuff. That's all I'm asking for, okay? So I will give you my all if you give me your all. I do not have any time after school, so I open my room up to lunch for anybody. I don't go anywhere at lunch, okay? I come into my room at 7 in the morning, and I don't leave my room till 2.45 to go to sports, okay? So you can come in at any time. I have prep during 7th. If you can get out of your 7th period class and you need to ask me a question, ask your teacher. I will be in my room. But after school, sorry. I coach football. As soon as football is done, I coach wrestling. As soon as wrestling is done, I coach track. As soon as track is done, I coach badminton. And then as soon as badminton is done, I go right back to football. Okay, busy, busy, busy. Just like you guys. I know there are some of you that go to school, and then you go to practice, then you go to club practice, then you have to go like to dance class. I know some of you have full schedules too. Okay? I take that into account every single day when I give work. 
I take that into account every single day when I give out projects. I never get upset if you don't turn something in the day it is absolutely due. Okay, as long as you're trying and as long as you promise to turn it in within that week, you're going to still get 100% and you're never going to get yelled at. You're never going to get detention. Okay, I take things into account. Okay, timing's an issue. I understand. Okay, as long as you get it turned into me and you've done your best, that's all I ask for. Okay, um, let me go ahead and go through a few things in the website and it is going to take some audience participation. So, I am a cell phone using teacher. I mean, I don't use my cell phone in class, but I allow you to use it out for educational means. So I am going to be handing out a permission slip so your parents understand why I have your phones out and this and that. But for now, I'm just going to have you do it. Okay, so if you have a cell phone, please take it out and put it on your desk. If you have a cell phone, please take it out and put it on your desk. Now, if you do not have a cell phone, don't worry about it. I'm only doing this thing occasionally. You don't need a cell phone for my class. When we do group work that requires a cell phone, we only need one person in your group to have a cell phone. So don't think you're going to be missing out on anything. Okay, this is just a little something extra that we do in class that we're, we're trying to incorporate. And what it is is a little um, poll. Okay, so I'm going to take a poll with the class. Whoops. And I believe it's right here. Okay. So I'll show you how to use this. With your cell phones, you are in the phone number. Now, if you don't have unlimited texts and you don't want to waste the text, don't do it. If you do have unlimited texts, I would like you to do it. Where you would put the phone number, okay, in the two line. You're going to type in 37607, okay, in the two line. This is my poll number. So you can actually write this in your contacts, save this number as Marquez poll number, okay? In the text message, you're going to put in 152274 and then put a space. And then you're going to put in your answer. And the question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like science? Now, be truthful. I don't know who writes what. It's not going to have your name underneath. Um, I could go into the settings and find out who it is, okay? But I'm not, there's no need to. So if you put a negative 10, like you absolutely hate science, put a negative 10. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not going to start crying, okay? If you really love science, you know, and you put a plus 10, I'm not going to come over to you and be like, my favorite student. No. Put, put the truth. And you'll start seeing it appear right there up on the board as soon as you hit send. So once again, in the column that says 2, you would type in 37607. And then in the text, you would put in 152274. Put a space. And then put in from 1 to 10. Anybody do it? There we go. Less than a minute ago. Six. Eight. Seven. Good. And we'll do this occasionally. We're not going to do it all the time. Maybe once or twice a month just to, just to have fun when you walk in. I'll have it up on the board. You take your phones out. You answer it and stuff like that. Okay? So that's good. Now, when we do start using the phones on a daily basis, the, it, the phone is going to be just like your textbook. You would take the phone out with your books, put it at the top of your desk, and you'd use it when we need it. Okay? Um, if you don't take it out at the very beginning of the class, you're not going to use it for that day. You're not going to take it out halfway through class and like, oh, I want to use it now. It's the moment we get to class. If you want to use the phone that day, take it out, put it at the top of your desk. We never text underneath the desk. Okay, and if I walk around and I see you doing this, probably it's something you're not supposed to be doing, right? But once again, if you tell me you're not looking at Facebook, I'm going to believe that you're not looking at Facebook. I'm going to believe you until you give me a reason not to believe you. Okay, so understand that. So, and we'll be using the phones a lot more, like when we're doing research. Sometimes I'll be like, hey, somebody tell me who Dalton is. Not that Dalton. 
Not, not you, Dalton. This is the scientist Dalton. John Dalton. John Dalton. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, hey, somebody give me a fact about John Dalton. And you go to Google, type in John Dalton, all these facts pop up. You, 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 you. Now we have 10 facts about John Dalton and we can move on. Okay, so that's the way we're going to be using our phones in the class. When we need the timer, you have a timer app, stopwatch app. We're going to use that instead of the, the stopwatches they gave us because those are horrible. And your app ones are probably much better. Okay, when we start racing outside and do 40 times, we're going to be using our stopwatch apps and stuff like that. Okay, so we are going to be using the phones quite a bit. John Dalton. John Dalton is uh, the person, the modern person who came up with the idea that uh, all things are made of small, tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. He couldn't see them, but he said, I think that we're made up of little things called atoms. And he ended up being proven correct after 200 years. Okay, that's who John Dalton is. Yes. It is a 555 number. I mean, actually, it's not, even, it's not even a real, it's not long distance. It's, it's local, yes, if that's what you're asking. It's a local number. Okay. All right. Now, let's go to our website really quick. Let me make sure that it's still recording. Okay, good. Um, this is our website, Physical Science with Mr. Marquez. So if you go to this website and you see that, you know you're in the right spot. Okay, and I will be giving you a um, handout tomorrow. I'm not doing it today because I guarantee you all your teachers are giving you your syllabuses today, and they're giving you all these papers to take home and get signed. I don't want mine to get lost in the shuffle. Okay, you can lose theirs, and then tomorrow when all you have is mine left, then you can make sure it's in a safe place. I've learned that over the years too. Okay, so I'll hand out all that stuff tomorrow with the, the address and all this good stuff. First couple things. Along the side is my sidebar. This is where you're going to find a lot of the stuff you're going to need. Or you can go up here to our tab bar at the top. So if you want to go to Unit 1, click on Unit 1. If you want to go to Unit 2, click on Unit 2. And you'll know what unit we're on okay, at that point. So that's where you have right there. This is our announcements page. If you click on that, you'll see every announcement that I give you in class. Like what homework is going to be due the next time we see you. When is our next test coming up? All the announcements that you're ever going to need are going to be right there. Also, the calendar. Everything is going to be on the calendar. What lab did we do that day? What, when is our next test? And the cool thing about this calendar, if you go to this on your phone and you click this button right here, plus Google Calendar, you can add this calendar to your calendar. So now you have access to my calendar instantly. So whenever I put in a test date, it's added to your calendar. Whenever I put in a homework due date, it's added to your calendar. So I know your AB teachers want you to fill out this course book and fill out the dates and all these stuff. Why? Right? I mean, there's no reason to. You have, if you have a phone and you have a calendar, utilize that. A lot less stuff to carry around. Okay? So there's that. If you ever want to see what's going on with football, wrestling, track, or badminton, you can click on that. Uh, that's for my computer class. I teach computers third period. So you're never going to need that. Um, if you don't want to carry around your textbook, um, I have digital textbooks on my website. I have it in the uh, iPad version, which is a, a, uh, a PDF. I also have it in a Kindle and Nook version, which is an EPUB version, electronic published version of the book. So you can download those to your, th your, your uh, tablet, and now you don't have to carry around that book anymore. Okay, so, and you can hi highlight and do all that cool stuff that you would normally be able to do. Okay, so I do have the textbook digitally on your website. You can get to the units on the side panel as well. Unit 1 is right here. I try to make the picture uh, something to do with that unit. So we are learning about speed in Unit 1. So there is a turtle moving fast with a rocket pack. Um, below it, you'll know which unit we're on because there'll be a number right below it. That is a countdown to the day of our next test. And our next test is in 36 days. Okay, so right away, first day of school, yes, there's a test already scheduled. All six of our tests are already scheduled because all the science teachers give them on the exact same day. Same exact test on the exact same day. Okay, so that you don't say Mr. C's tests are easier than Mr. Marquez's tests. No, we give all the same tests so that you don't think you have a harder teacher than another kid, another student. But there are 36 days left there. If you scroll down even more... And now notice, 
Unit 2, that's Darth Vader's hand. What does Darth Vader have? The force. So that's the actual force equation. Force equals MA, which is mass times acceleration. Below it is a picture of a happy atom. So we learn about atoms. Then the, that's a, a periodic table. Uh, here is um, a chemistry. So we're mixing chemicals. And we do get to mix chemicals. And here is a black hole eating planets. So that is astronomy that we will be learning. At the very bottom, occasionally for extra credit, I'll be doing an extra credit poll. And I'll tell you, the extra credit pulls up. It'll be up for a week. If you want extra credit, fill it out. And it'll be something like, how you doing today? Right? It'll just be something goofy or it may be a question uh, um, about science you answer, but it's extra credit, uh, except tonight. Tonight, your first homework assignment is to click on this check mark and fill out the very first poll that we're doing. And it's not really a poll. It's just information about you so I can learn a little bit about you. You're just going to type in your name, click on second period, your favorite, uh, what does that say? Favorite subject. Don't say science just to get on my good side. Say, you know, your favorite subject. Uh, do you have a nickname? If you have a nickname that you get called out on the sports field, you'd like to get that over here. Put in your nickname. That's fine. We'll start calling you that. Um, what do you do in your spare time? What's your favorite movie or TV show? What sports do you play? What's your favorite cartoon character? What's your favorite sports team? Um, and uh, anything else you'd like to share about yourself? And just so I get to know you a little bit, I do tailor my lessons to what you guys like. Okay? If you, your favorite cartoon character is Roadrunner, I have Roadrunner teach a few things to you, actually moving his mouth and talking to you, okay? So last year, a kid like Beavis and Butthead, Beavis and Butthead taught us about chemicals, okay? Somebody like Mr. T, Mr. T talked to us a little bit, okay? So I incorporate your stuff into my class, so I, that's all I need to know. When you're done, you just hit submit, and you're done. You don't do anything else, okay? So that's tonight's homework. So uh, you can, it's phone-friendly as well. Okay, phone friendly. Yes. Question? Nope. Okay. Um, let's go back to the May website. There are a few things I'd like to show you. Next week, we're going to be taking star test. Not the actual star test. It's just um, before the star test, I'm going to give you this to see what you've learned. And, and so you can see the types of questions the star test is going to be asking. But I thought, hey, why not this year give you this test early? Just go through it. Just do your best on it. It's not really graded. And then at the end, we'll compare how many more you got correct to see if we actually learned stuff. Uh, below, this is the best way to view my website. So if you're viewing my website on Explorer, you don't want to. Okay, Chrome is the best browser to view my website on. So if you click on that, it'll give you Chrome. If you're ever absent and you want, and you're, and you want the missing work, you just click on this fill out a little form that says how many days you're going to be absent for, and I send you the work through email instantly. Or it gives you on the website where to go to get the work. Okay, so you never have to have your mom call and say, you know, Jordan's going to be out for a week. Can you please send all the work he's going to be missing? I'll be like, no, fill out the form. You'll get it. Okay, so there's that. Under this, anybody ever see this icon before? Tilt it up. That is an RSS feed. RSS feed is a, subscri a subscription, kind of like a magazine subscription. It's called a really simple subscription. If you have that app on your phone, if you have an Android device, it's called Google Reader. If you have an iPhone, I don't know what it's called. They have tons of different ones. If you have that app running um, and you uh, go to my announcements, whoops, and you go to my announcements page, you click on the subscription right here, just that, that same icon. It'll give you every single announcement that I put on my website instantly. It'll send it to you like a subscription. So you never have to check my website to see when homework is due or when the next test is. I'm trying to get you information so you'll never, ever, ever feel you don't know what's going on in class. Okay, so you, you don't, if you already did the calendar one, there's no reason to do the subscription one. But if you don't have the calendar one, maybe you want to do the subscription one. Or if you want to visit the website every day, you can do that too. I'm just trying to give you as many options as possible for you. I give you guys my phone number. You can text me. Please text me. Don't call me. Text me anytime after school till 8 o'clock. 
8 o'clock, I watch Sports Center, so I will not respond to your text. Okay? But you can text me at any time between 5 and 8. And if it's a, something simple like, hey, what's our homework tonight? First couple times I'll respond. After that, I'll be like, you should really subscribe to my calendar. Or you should really subscribe to my RSS feed. Or if you have a question like, hey, I, I don't understand forces. Uh, I will either redirect you to our recorded forces session or I'll give you a quick explanation of forces. Okay? You have access to me. So if you have a phone, I would like you to put my phone number in a text. So once again, if you have phone charges that aren't, you know, don't do it yet until you get permission from your parents. But if you don't, you don't have to put in the 559 because it's local. Just put in 382-3279 and then send me a quick text to say, hey, Mr. Marquez, this is, and then put in your name from period two. And what I do with this is I will send you information every once in a while like, hey, our test is tomorrow. You should read this. This will help you a lot. Hint, hint. Right? Or, hey, if you're, if you're looking for something to study and you want to get an A on the test, click here. This will help you a lot. Hint, hint. Okay, so I will send out texts every once in a while to keep you updated on class stuff. I, I asked my class a few years ago, what's the best way to get a hold of you if I need, need you to remember something? And I said, should I tell you in class? Should I email you or should I text you? And 99% of the class said text. So I do, it, I do that now. I'll send out a mass text to all of you saying, hey, don't forget we have a test next week. Hey, don't forget we have this next week. So um, if you have that thing, please send me a text so I can get you into my system and I can send those out to you. Here, once again, this is another countdown that tells you how many days left until we're taking our test. Guess what? I like you to know when our test is. Okay? It'll also be up on my scrolling sign up there. It'll tell you when the test is. It'll also be up on the whiteboard telling you when our test is. And anybody notice the belt? I will only wear the belt from this day forth a week before we take our test. So if I'm wearing the belt, the test is near. Okay? So you can't say, I do not want somebody to come in the week of the test and go, ah, oh, we have a test this week? No. And normally what happens is the first day I wear the belt, oh, that's an awesome belt. Where'd you get it? Can't tell you. Right? Then I wear it again, and they go, oh, that's an awesome belt. Are you going to tell us where you got it? No, but you remember where the belt means? Uh-uh. Test is next week. Oh, yeah. By the fourth time I wear the belt, the whole class says, oh, we have a test next week. They don't even care about the belt anymore because it's no longer fun because you know you're having a test next week. So that's what this is. It's, and I also wear it at rallies because it's fun. Okay. We have a Facebook class website. So if you have a Facebook account, you, you can join and add me as a friend. I only add my students. Okay, if they're not in my class, they aren't added. They can request it, and I hit deny. Only my students get added to my Facebook account. It is a class-only Facebook account. I will also put things on here like, this is a great place to look if you're studying for your test. Don't forget we're having a test next week. I'll put information on there as well. Okay? Here... Right there is a group page. You don't have to add me as a friend for that one. You just hit like, and you join our, it's Mr. Marquez class 24-7, and you can go on there and post a question, and all my past students who are part of that group will answer you. It's kind of like a free tutor site for you. You can even ask them, is Mr. Marquez really loud all the time like he is? Yes, I'm loud. I talk like this. This is my normal voice. That's why I'm not allowed in libraries. Okay, and then finally, we have a class Instagram page. Okay, Instagram. Now, what we're going to be doing with Instagram is every period, I am going to have, I'm going to, and I'll switch it up, you know, from unit to unit. We're going to have a class historian, and if they have an Instagram account, when we do labs or projects, kind of like you know people who do the yearbook, you're going to go around our classroom and take pictures of people's projects of them doing the project, of the labs. You're going to post it on your Instagram. You're going to hashtag me, Mr. Marquez Science Class, and then I'm going to Insta repost it onto my page, and now we have a timeline of our class. So once again, if you're absent during a lab, you can actually see what we did in class that day. 
Okay, so I'm going to be doing the Instagram as well. Okay, so we have the Instagram. So if you have an Instagram, please add me. If you add me, you get a bonus. You get to see all the wedding pictures I posted that I got married this summer, and I posted all my wedding pictures um, on Instagram because last year, if you didn't know, I was on that um, race to the altar. I was going to win a free wedding, and everybody was voting for me. And because we didn't win, and because none of my students, because I was going to have 10 of my students in the wedding. They were going to, you know, seat people, and they were going to just be in the wedding and stuff. But since we didn't win, I said I would post it for them. So it was live on my webpage. So they would see it as, as they came up. So you can go on and, and check those pictures out. They're pretty funny. Okay. So, so there's. That. Um, there's an announcement page at the bottom as well. Just so since last year I've had 6,000 hits on my website. My students utilize my website. They know that if they want to get an A in my class, that my website is the best place to go. And it's funny, I can track my website, and the day, the, the day before the test, big spike in people visiting my website. Okay, big spike. Um, above it is a suggestion form. If you found a lab to be extremely boring, tell me. Hey, that lab we did yesterday, boring. And if a lot of people say that, guess what I'm not going to do next year? That lab. Okay, you guys help me become a better teacher by telling me what worked and what didn't work. And if something's boring and it's not working and you didn't learn anything from it, why should I use it again? Okay, I'll have to go back to the drawing board and think of something else to do instead of that lab. If there was a lab that worked and you liked it, I'll do it again. Okay, you can thank last year's students for the ice cream lab that we're going to do in, in April. We get to make ice cream in this class for chemistry. And because 99% of all my students said we should do the ice cream lab again. I don't know who that 1% was that said we shouldn't. Ice cream haters, I guess. Yes. Yes. It's still made from milk. Will you guys bring the milk? The little ones. Not a, not a whole gallon. You're not, you're not making five-gallon ice cream tubs there. You're going to make a sack of ice cream. Okay? If you eat more than that, you're going to get sick. Question over here? Yes. Yes. You get to bring... I, I, I tell you how much of the stuff to bring, and if you want to eat twice that amount, you bring twice the amount of stuff. Okay? All right. Um, now, real quick, and like I said, today's... I just... This is being recorded so that you can see it, but I just really, really, really want you to know how to navigate my website because it is the best place to get the information. Another place, look, I put the announcements here again. I have announcements all over the place. It's the same announcements you would find here, but it's the last five, okay? And so normally, so you'll see, have a great last week of school. That was the last thing I posted from last year. So, but this is where, and, it, and these go down, get pushed out as time goes on. Um, if you want to download the textbook chapters just for this unit, you can click there. Quiz reviews. After we take a quiz, I will put the review on there so you can review the quiz. You'll find it, you'll find that the quiz questions are very similar to the test question. So if you study the quiz questions, you'll do very well on the test. Hint, hint. Okay. So there's that homework. Homework, besides being posted in the announcements, you can also go to the homework button. It's a dog x-ray with homework eaten by the dog. If you click on that, you will see homework, September 4th and 5th, homework, pages 2 and 3. September 6th and 7th, homework, pages 4 and 5. Pages are easy. It's fill in the blanks. And I gave you the book with the answers to fill in the blanks. Not hard. Okay? But it tells you what's due and when it's due. Now, if you don't have your homework the day it's due, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to be upset with you. I'll just say, can you bring it to me next time? Simple as that. I understand people are busy. I understand things can get away from you. I understand your AB teachers are going to give you lots of homework. I understand this. And sometimes science falls in the back way. I'll give you the extra day. As long as you bring it to me that next time I see you, we're, 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 we're cool. All right, you don't? Okay, you've got to stay in the lunch then with me and we'll fill it out together, I guess, right? But I'm not going to be upset. 
you're probably already upset. There's probably a reason you're not getting the homework done. Okay, issues at home, issues there, issues elsewhere. I'll do my best to help you out. Okay, if you need a place to do your homework, come into my room. Okay, so that's that's that. Let's see, we scroll down. PowerPoints. PowerPoints are going to be there in two different ways. They're going to be there in the actual PowerPoint slideshow you can view again. And it's also going to be up there in the video recording that we did that day. Now, we're not going to do the whole PowerPoint in one day. It's going to be in segments. So you'll see like PowerPoint forces segment one, PowerPoint forces segment two. It'll be split up like between 10 and 15 minute sections. But if you want to see the entire PowerPoint all at one time, you can look at the PowerPoint. It's right there. Handouts. Everything I hand out in class, I will hand out to you. All the extra copies I'll put in the back. Once those are gone, the only place you can get an extra copy is the internet. You click on that, click on the handout, and download it and print it. It's all on the website for you. Underneath is the starters. We do a starter every day. It's going to be on there in two different ways. It's going to be the actual starter and then me talking, working it out like we did in class, recorded once again. Okay, so that's the website. Does anybody have any questions about the website? Okay, this is your lifeline to the class. Lifeline to the class. Now let me show you around the classroom so that you know where things are located. Now this is, this is the only way I use my phone. camera. Okay, so right there, up there, is our LED screen. Up there, you're going to have, you know, a lot of your teachers are going to have a word wall with vocabulary and stuff like that. I, I put it up there. So if you're done with your starters, you're done with your work, so, you know, kind of glance over there and just read what's up there. And uh, sometimes I'll throw out extra credit just for people paying attention. I won't tell them there's extra credit up there. But I'll put up an extra credit question, and if you answer it by the end of class, you get extra credit, just so I know that you're reading it. But that's, what, that's what's going to be up there. Tests will be up there. I'll tell you when the test dates are. Um, and standards will be up there. Uh, this is our assignment wall. I will only put the assignments once they are done and collected and corrected. So if there's an assignment up there that you haven't turned in, it's really late at that point. Okay, make sure you get it turned in. This wall over here is our timeline wall. We're going to start here. This is where our first unit starts. And once we get to the very end, that's the last day of school. And every time I show this to everybody, it's like, wow, that seems like a long way away. It goes by so fast. And the last day of school gets here, and everybody's like, I don't want to leave. Oh, I don't want to go to Buchanan. It's good. Well, then, you know. Slow down here. Slow down eighth grade year. Take everything in. Have a good time in eighth grade. Get your stuff done. And by the end of the year, you'll be good to go. But it goes by quick. Here is our, um, our first project, what we're going to be doing next week. And that's called the um, mini science project that you're going to be doing, little tiny science boards. This up here is the metric system. We are the only civilized world not using the metric system. Metric system goes by tens. We go by 12s and 36s and ounces. It gets, it gets I don't even know. Okay. Um, then we look at density and forces and buoyancy. Uh, then we go and learn about atoms and elements. And then we learn how we put those together to create compounds and how we put those together to make things blow up. Uh, then we learn about the periodic table and what makes it up. Then we learn about states of matter, solid liquids and gases. Then we learn about astronomy, which is outer space. And then we go to summer vacation. Okay, so it goes by very quick. Over here is where you're going to find your missing work. Okay, so if you have any work that you missed and you didn't print them up off my website, come over here and see if you missed any work. And you can grab the papers from here. Over here is the exit. Here is the eyewash station. It also acts as our drinking fountain. Okay? It's cleaner water than out there at the faucet. Okay, it's super clean. This is a sink. There are many sinks around the room, um, but when you want to wash your hands, this is probably the best sink to go because it's the only one with soap. 
Okay, and paper towel. Over here is an ancient computer. That's why it's not turned on yet. I'm still deciding if I want to turn it on because it takes an hour to turn on and it's super slow. This wall is student work wall. So once we have work completed, I'm going to start putting your student work up here. These are your station numbers. So when we start doing labs and I say report to your station, these are the station numbers like this. Station 5, table 5 would report to station 5. Station 4, table 4 would report to station 4. Pretty simple. Over here is all my championship sports teams. Up there is all my all-star state and city, county, all-star jerseys. I like them. And then there's a 49er uh, mailbox. This is my workstation. You should never touch anything on my workstation. This is my demo desk. We do demos up here. And now we're back to the front of the class. OK, good. Any questions about anything so far? Question. Um, when we start working on some things, um, like when we do like the poll thing, you don't want to use your phone or something, I will allow laptops out. Um, now, I, I do warn you that when we do use the electronic devices, it's, 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 a, it's a one warning and that's it type thing. So if I catch you doing something on the computer or the phone that you're not supposed to be doing, then and you're not going to get in trouble. I'm not going to take it away, but you're no longer allowed to have any electronic devices out in class at that point. You're basically X'd out on the electronic device board. Okay, so just don't do it type of thing. Um, I think that is it. Let me come up here and end the broadcast.